Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm going to answer the question you guys have been asking, can fasting help cancer? Okay, let's talk about cancer. This is a biggie, and there is a really cool study that I'm gonna share with you on this. And I've got four key points I wanna walk you through. So take it step by step with me. If you wanna know the study, as always, I'll link it in the note show notes. It's really impressive. So that'll be my fourth or my third point. I really wanna dive into the study because it's cool. So the first thing is I want you to think about why we make cancer cells. So let's just like I've done this with fat, I feel like we need to demystify cancer. And all a cancer cell is, is that it was once a healthy cell and it turned into a cancer cell. So what happened to that cell to make it turn into a cancer cell? And there are some very specific things that we know will turn a healthy cell into a cancer cell. So first, and this is probably the most important thing I can say, and it's not even fasting related, is that you've got to get out of eating the three most poisonous foods. Okay, ready for what those are? Those are the bad oils, those are the refined processed flours and sugars, and those are toxic ingredients. So if you're not familiar with toxic ingredients, there are over 50,000 ingredients that have been added into our food over the last several decades that they label as gross, generally recognized as safe. This means that they, the FDA is allowing those ingredients to go into our food and it hasn't proven that it has an adverse effect on our body yet. And it takes a tremendous amount of money to disprove or to prove that a food is safe or not safe. So yes, there are a lot of in ingredients in your food that are cancer causing that are in your grocery store. So let's go back to nature's food. Nature doesn't fool us. So in nature's food, we're looking at things that come from the earth. When we walk into a grocery store, nature's foods are typically around the outside. When you go to your farmer's market, that's where nature's food usually is. Let's get away from the, anything that would live in your pantry for months on end and still be fresh. That's a man-made food. Let's get rid of that. So get off the three most poisonous foods. Those are turning healthy cells into cancer cells. Okay, so that's first step. Second thing that we can start to do to clean up cells and make them more efficient so that they don't go it, it become these cancer cells is fasting. Now, we hopefully you guys know that autophagy fasting 17 hours or longer not only cleans the cells up, but it stimulates something called apoptosis. Apoptosis is where the intelligence in the cell realizes that it's turning into a cancer cell and it kills that cell so that it can get rid of it. So if you have cancer, if you wanna prevent cancer, we gotta do fasting a little longer than 17 hours. So make sure that you're doing some cellular cleaning through these longer fasts. Now, what did this study say that I'm all excited about? So there was a breast cancer study. Um, it was done on 2,000 women, over 2,000 women. like. This is one of the largest female studies that we have. All these women had cancer and they had all, breast cancer, they had all gone through traditional chemo, radiation, whatever their doctor recommended. The average age of these women were, was 52. And so what they did is they split the, the sample size into a group that they said, you're gonna eat, you're gonna fast for less than 13 hours. So these are people that just slept maybe eight hours and then they got up and had breakfast. So they did not go over 13 hours of fasting. The second group, what they did is they said, okay, you're gonna go over 13 hours. Now they didn't even change the poisonous food that I'm talking about. They just said one's under 13 hours, one is over 13 hours. And here's what they found is that 64% less reoccurrence of breast cancer in the group that did over 13 hours of fasting every day, 64%. Now, if you're on a drug for cancer, I want you to go look up or ask your doctor if 
you can get a 64% less reoccurrence of your cancer being on that drug. That would be an amazing drug. This amazingness is inside you. So what you've got to do to stimulate this intelligence is just go over 13 hours. That's not a, hard, I promise you. If you have been fasting for like eight hours, you know, fasting just when you sleep, six, seven, eight hours, and you're like, wow, 13 hours seems really hard. I have a lot of videos that I've done on how to, a, a beginner can start to step into uh, of these longer fasts. If you have cancer, let's go into 13 hours. Let's go into some deeper fasts, some 17 hours, but at least let's get us going on a 13 hour rate. Pretty cool, I'll link the study. Okay, so the last couple of things. Outside of fasting, outside of avoiding these three poisonous foods, there are some other things you can do. So for example, vitamin D. There's great research, long, decades long research done on vitamin D for immunity. And it's for immunity with infections. Go watch the videos I've done on infections. And it's for immunity with cancer. You gotta get your vitamin D levels up. You want them over 50. So start measuring vitamin D and start taking vitamin D. My favorite vitamin D is called DV3. We have seen pre and post vitamin D tests in my clinic that vitamin D levels can be improved with DV3. Not all supplements are made the same. So just put DV3 in your comments and my team will send you a link to that. So get vitamin D up, get off the three poisonous foods, fast over 13 hours, and now we're starting to get some momentum and give your body the resources it needs to be able to stop making these cancer cells, okay? I hope that makes sense. If you guys like this information, um, one of my favorite cancer experts is Dr. Nasha Winters. She wrote a book called The Metabolic Approach to Cancer. I've interviewed her on the Resetter podcast twice. Go to the uh, iTunes, look, look for Nasha Winters episode. Um, it's really powerful. She'll talk about her whole metabolic approach to cancer. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign you definitely need to subscribe. If you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video. So if we're eating the same way all the time, then we're going to get stuck and we might actually gain weight. 